Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the DQ. So one of the famous implementation class of DQ is called ArrayDQ in Java. So let's discuss about uh, what is ArrayDQ, a uh, few APIs and finally we'll see an example as well. The ArrayDQ class provides the facility of using uh, DQ and resizable array. It in inherits uh, abstract collection class and implements the queue interface means uh, array DQ basically extends extends uh, basically extend uh, abstract class and abstract class ultimately uh, basically implements a DQ interface now there are some key points about array DQ uh, array DQ implements DQ interface and it is available from JDK 1.6 onwards uh, we have a next point Java DQ interface is a linear collection that supports elements insertion and removal at both ends uh, DQ is uh, you can say DQ is an acronym of double indent queue right now array DQ is not a thread safe uh, in the absence of external synchronization right so if you use array DQ in your application and you want the thread synchronization then uh, you will have to externally synchronize it right now array dq has no capacity restrictions right so uh, as long as a space is there you add the elements ultimately you can you may get uh, out of memory exception right or integer overflow right if you keep adding the elements now null elements are not allowed in the array dq right if you try to add null elements in the dq you will uh, end up with null pointer exception at runtime. Array DQ can be used as a queue and a stack both. When it is used as a stack, it is faster than uh, a stack class in Java. When it is used as a queue, it is faster than a linked list. As we know that linked list we can use as a uh, as a uh, DQ as uh, as well as a queue. So basically, linked list class also implements a DQ interface, and DQ interface ultimately extends uh, queue interface so link list has a both kind of uh, feature like uh, dq and queue feature now iterator object of uh, array queue allows removal modification of uh, array dq elements now when we talk about the methods of uh, java dq interface then there are few methods i have listed over here like first of all we have add method it is used to insert the specified element into this DQ and returns true upon success. Now next we have a offer method. It is used to insert the specified uh, element into this DQ. Th that's very similar to the add method. Now remove method we have. It is used to retrieve and removes the head of this DQ. So basically when you call remove method, this will uh, basically remove elements from the head of the DQ. Uh, uh, DQ and that will uh, that element will be returned to you. Now we have a poll method. It is used to retrieve and removes the head of the DQ and returns null if DQ is empty. So poll method basically remove retrieves and uh, removes elements from the head of the DQ. If DQ is empty, then this is going to return you null. Now next we have a element. It is used to retrieve but does not remove the head of this dq now we have a peak method it is used to retrieve but does not remove again the head of this dq and return null if the dq is empty so these are the basically few methods for the rest of the methods you can go into the dq interface as well as array queue interface and uh, you can have a look now when we talk about the i mean hierarchy of uh, uh, dq interface then here you can see in this picture so here we have a blocking DQ, sorry, blocking Q, uh, which already we have seen a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, implementation of blocking Q in the uh, previous few video tutorials. Now here you have a DQ interface, right? DQ interface basically on the top and uh, uh, there are a couple of interface like uh, blocking Q, uh, blocking DQ, which basically ex uh, extends uh, basically DQ interface, right? 
and uh, there are implementation direct implementation of dq interface like you have a link list link list basically implements a dq interface and array dq that also implements a dq interface and uh, block when we talk about the blocking queue interface uh, we have a linked uh, blocking dq inter uh, implementation so linked blocking dq basically implements a blocking uh, dq this is the thread safe implementation of array dq itself right so this this is the hierarchy and linked list also we know that that implements the list interface right so that's the i mean when we talk about the hierarchy of uh, dq uh, interface now let's uh, let's have a look a couple of exa uh, single uh, let's see uh, an example how basically uh, array dq works so here you can see here i have uh, taken a uh, array dq so if we can take a left side dq itself instead of implementation right and here you can see uh, as we know that dq interface will be implemented by array dq so that's what left side i have taken a uh, reference of uh, dq and i have assigned an object of array dq and uh, here i have taken uh, generics as a string but in real time you can have a custom object as well right so you can create a array dq which will basically holds the custom object now here i'm adding few elements by calling the add method finally i'm calling the offer method so add and offer both work similar now as i said uh, uh, array basically array D dq does not allow you to add null elements if you try to add null elements you'll get runtime exception null point exception at runtime now here array dq is having a method is called offer first right so this will add uh, elements on the first position right similarly we have a method offer last this will add elements in the last so that's the basically feature of uh, dq that you can add and remove elements from the both end this this is not possible in the case of q implementation of q classes right q classes you can add and remove elements from the uh, single end right now here i'm trying to iterate the uh, dq and uh, uh, now i'm calling the po uh, poll method and trying to remove uh, one elements from the uh, underlying dq right so this will basically remove remove poll method will remove one element from the head of the dq and same will be returned to you right uh, now after removing the one elements from the dq again i am iterating and looking uh, how many elements are there so let me uncomment this code i'm going to uncomment this code and let's see whether this is throwing an uh, exception or not so so this is throwing a null point exception means this this proves that you cannot add null uh, elements into the dq right so i'm going to comment it again now uh, let me run this pro program and here you can see the output so here I, I can show you the source code and similarly we can verify the output so here initially we wanted to add a b c uh, and f right and later what i'm telling offer first means d element go to the first so if you look at the output first element is the d and after that a b c f right and I'm calling offer last means this element will be added on the last of the DQ. So that's the output sequence we get. Now we are calling the poll method, right? So if you come down, we call the after iterating, we are calling the poll method, right? So poll method basically will remove elements from the head. So at this time, head of the DQ contains the D. So D is gonna remove and same is going to return by the poll method. After removing the uh, one elements from the dq we are again iterating and uh, we can see uh, now uh, d will be removed right so if sorry so d is gonna be removed so after leaving the d rest of the elements are displaying a b c f and e we are getting as a output so guys there are many more things you can go into the uh, array dq class you can see what are the rest of the methods are available 
and uh, uh, basically if you look into this class now array dq basically uh, extends abstract clash collection and implements dq interface right so you can go to the dq interface you may get a lot of methods over here so these methods are pretty straightforward right and uh, dq interface ultimately extends uh, basically q interface so that's the hierarchy we have and dq uh, sorry q interface finally extends collection interface so there is some hierarchy and finally collection interface uh, basically extends iterable so there is a complete hierarchy and iterator is the top on the collection framework right collection uh, hierarchy interfaces right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoy learning this video uh, this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you really like this video then uh, please give the thumbs up and uh, please don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well